contained databases and contained database users this is a unique concept there were problems earlier and what were the issues issues were when migration imagine you have sql server user sql server authentication user uh, and that is enabled that is used by a database and you migrate the data, database move the database to a different server a different location it was a very complex process because same set of users logins required are required were required on that remote machine as well for the authentication which was quite a difficult task so this is the answer for this in this session quick session we will discuss contained database users and contained databases last time uh, when i delivered sql server 2008 this feature was not there traditional login and user model as we know there are two types of authentication available in sql server windows authentication and sql server authentication in windows authentication we use active directory authentication there's a typo here please forget uh, active directory authentication or direct windows principle or windows user which makes the most securable or most secure authentication method as it can have complexity group policy configured and active directory level applied to all domain servers this is what we do sql server authentication users are created inside sql server and provided required permissions the permissions includes server wide and database wide as we have learned the logins can have certain permissions at the database level might be uh, read or write permissions etc that is a traditional model what we have discussed in last two lectures sql server authentication and uh, windows authentication system usually we have the requirement for restoring or uh, the staging or uat databases from production or any new server to a different server to somewhere else so I, i'm talking about the migration planned or uh, from developer to uat or from uat to production we have different requirements when we move or restore the database onto different environment we might come up with the issue of orphan users where the id sid is not mapped to both login and the user because the user does not exist on that windows machine if we have not migrated the login with sp help rev login this stored procedure or by any other means we have to migrate we required we are required to migrate that user as well if you we have not done that we may face issues we need to fix the orphan user using system restored procedure sp change user login with appropriate parameters so that was a, a post migration task before you proceed uh, you start using the database on a remote machine on a different machine uh, from the current you need to migrate the users which are mapped to windows users in sql server 2019 we have a solution and that solution is contained database very interesting feature contained database is defined as a database which has the database user without logins it includes all settings related to database login along with the, its metadata the system will be having no dependency with sql server login very interesting there are side effects also though and we can get into a detailed discussion because official documentation when you go through it will point out uh, many issues uh, downsides of using this in specific scenarios so it includes all settings related to the database and you are inside the database so no dependency users can easily connect to the contained database without having to go through the db engine contained database features provide two containment modes none by default each database has its mode set to none 
This means there is no contained database feature being used. Second is partial. With partially contained database, we can define boundaries between the database and the server so the metadata will exist inside databases. It makes SQL Server database more portable and less dependent on the underlying host. And this is the one word answer if you ask me what is the purpose why we are studying this. We are studying it if we want to port or migrate the database from one server to another. How to enable it? You need to go to the feature, right click on the server, go to the properties and under advanced you have this feature containment enable contained database first thing is you need to enable this feature you will be doing this in the lab assignment this uh, this is nothing but taken from the same lab which you will be doing and that is sequence number five the last sequence of lab six so go to the advanced enable it and enable contained database option creating new contained database when you select create new database option on the options page, we have this feature, the like containment type, like we are selecting partial here. So containment is partial and other extra settings can be specified within this block. So in the create database step, we specify this containment type in the options page. Same thing is available if you, if there's a typo here, we can script out the create database and this is the script which you can expect create a database, database name and containment is partial. So this is the optional uh, parameter you specify when you are creating a contained database. So you specify containment type and then the rest of the details are self-explanatory on primary device on the, and the logs where the logs will be located. Verify it using sys databases. Once the database is created, we can verify it using sys databases. So select containment name from sys databases where name is the database name so when you try this you will see containment is equal to one if it is not contained database the value will be zero so if you try the same command with other databases this value of containment field will be zero if the containment is not enabled in the database it will return zero else one so in our case it is returning one for our database now, how do you create a contained database user? First, we need to enable the feature on contained database. That's not sufficient. Ultimately, this whole exercise was done to create a user which will reside within database, not outside database, which will help us in migrating this database anywhere else. So that we don't have to migrate the users. Users will go along with the database. So how do we create that? For this, we need to expand the contained database and go to the security, create new user database, I mean new database user and specify the user details. So SQL user with password, test user, password, specify the password and that's it. You don't need anything else much here. Of course, you specify the role also uh, that is own schema and database owner that can be specified and the script for the same is so easy use database name create user database uh, username password default schema dbo this user will be contained user since our database is contained a database you are able to add this if you try the same thing with adventure works or other databases this step will not work here we need not create the login before creating the user we will directly create the user with appropriate password inside the database only because this sequence of step this step was created inside the database had you tried the same thing with other databases then you would have got this error message level 16 state 1 you can only create a user with a password in a contained database so this is if you try the same command in a normal database now the con connecting to the instance to connect to contained database, we need to specify contained DB name in the contain uh, connection parameter. Without that, you will fail. So specify the server name, authentication, SQL server authentication, login name and password. If you try without 
that you will get the same error login failed so this is without uh, specifying the connection parameter so you need to go to the options when you click on options it will open another dialog box and there we have the connection properties in the connection properties you need to type the database to which you are trying to connect so in the connection properties we need to specify contained database name you type in that contained database name and then it will allow you to connect to the database directly so you are bypassing the sql server windows authentication everything is happening within the database only database itself is carrying its own baggage of authentication and security it's not outside the database scope you can also convert existing database to contained database and that makes sense what if i want to convert my uh, adventure works database as a contained database so that i can use it anywhere you can do that and that can be done using alter database statement alter database database name set containment partial with no weight after converting the database we need to make uh, we need to take care of the existing logins as well for this we need to move the users or migrate the users using system procedure and the system procedure is sp migrate users to contained this is extra stored procedure available now with this new feature and the parameters are username and uh, rename and uh, disable login example call for this stored procedure sp migrate users to contained username test move contained this is example this is the username to be specified then rename the uh, to keep name for example whatever name you want to assign and disable login so this this is the parameter we are passing and this will convert existing database to existing database uh, non contained database to contained database to work on a contained database as a contained user is created at the database level we cannot do any activity we require uh, at the instance level instance permission like backup and restore you will not be able to do those activities here as visible below we are not getting options of backup restore or extra other features we are getting very less number of feature if you go to the task you will see task are very very limited and the screenshot is coming from another website if you can see that here we can use the system view sys database principles view in the database to see which users are listed as contained user using this query benefits it is quite easy to move the database from one server to another as we will not have orphaned user issue in this case metadata is stored on the contained database so it is easier and more portable we can have both sql server and windows authentication for contained database users disadvantage partially contained database cannot use features like replication change data capture change tracking schema bound objects that depends on built in functions with the collision changes these are some of the features there are some more advantages if you go to the official page you will find lot more uh, disadvantages and advantages as well that's all for this session thank you very much